Welcome back guys for another tutorial on interactive PDFs using InDesign. Today I will be creating this contact form. It's the full name, email address, phone number, and submit button. And it's fairly simple to do so this shouldn't take long so let's go ahead and get started. Alright now we are in InDesign and let's go ahead and find the contact form. Okay here it is and we have name address let's just go ahead and delete all of this and let's get started from scratch let's see here just grab a box and drag it out how big depends on how big you want it and then we can go ahead and style it let's I think I want to make it like that we don't need yeah, let's leave the border. Okay, once you do that, you want this to be the name. So you go up to Buttons and Forms. And if this isn't open, just go up to Window, Interactive, Buttons and Forms. So once you do that, make sure this is selected. Then you go ahead and you're going to make it a text field. And let's go ahead and give that a name. And I'm going to just Alt and drag this out. And I'm going to change this to email. And once more, alt drag. And we're going to call this phone. And let's go ahead and line this up a little better. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, Align it. There we go. That looks good. And if these guides are in your way, just go ahead and hit W and then they will go away like that. Okay, now we need to add our button. So let me get an image for that. Find my button. Here's my button. Let's go ahead and center that. Now we have to make this. Actually, I'm going to line it up here, here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's go ahead and make this a. It's going to be button however it's going to be a submit form button so we want to make check that and we're going to have a rollover state so on rollover it's going to be 100% opacity but when it's normal state we're going to go ahead and drop that down to uh, let's do about 60 And then once you roll over it, now let's go ahead and center this back. And let's go ahead and reduce the size of these just a bit. All right, that's better. And then once you have your button, you have to give it, let's see here. You have to where it's going to go when you send it. So let's do mail to contact at that agency.com. And then once you click it, that's where it's going to go. And that is it. InDesign does everything else for you. So we are good to go. And then of course you just want to save it. And then you want to export it. Make sure it's interactive. And desktop is fine. Let's go ahead and override that. And then your pages, everything else is fine. And then it's going to do its thing. It doesn't take long.
and then you are done. That's it. Uh, one more, one more note. You see this little red dot here, it's saying that I have one error. If you click on this thing here, it'll bring up pre-flight pre panel, and it's telling me here that I have a text frame that has some problems with it. If you double click on that, it'll take you to the act, to the actual page, and you see here this little red plus sign. It's just saying that I have additional text down here, and that's why it's giving me that error. But it doesn't matter. I have a template that you can download. It has all the elements inside. Download it, open it up, check it out, and use it for any of your projects. Till next time, guys. Take care.